Okay, Josh. Mm -hmm. So the first thing let's do, let's talk about getting a good breath. Okay. And the important thing, I'm, I'm sure you've been told before by your teachers, that it's important not to just get what we call a chest breath. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just to breathe up this way. Okay. The reason is this. We have a diaphragm. It's a wall of muscle that basically separates our lung and heart area, cardiopulmonary area, mm -hmm from essentially the digestive area. Now, I'm not a doctor, and I may not be explaining it exactly the way uh, a doctor would, but I think it's close enough. Mm -hmm. And so the reason any sound or within this entire genre of music making, there are ideal qualities of a good sound. Yeah. And so in a way, it's good to think outside of our own instrument because then we can start to make conclusions that aren't based purely on our own uh, our own um, egocentric way of looking at things. And we should be egocentric. It's your sound. This is your voice. You shouldn't sound like me. We should both be aspiring to sort of an ideal quality of sound and then what comes out of your instrument and you mm -hmm. should embody your personality but with these beautiful qualities. These okay. X qualities. Are you tasting what you should or are you just tasting the spice? Yeah. Okay. So this is that tight, sharp kind of sound. Mm -hmm. And by the same token, if you had, if it were down in the bottom, mm -hmm. then you've got that unsupported sort of flabby sound where it sounds a little bit like that, you know, it doesn't have any middle to it. And so again, you might think that person sounds flat. That guy's playing flat, mm -hmm. you know, it should tune up. And then they might say, no, Josh, I'm sorry, man. Look yeah. at this. That tuner says, I'm right in tune. I'm right in tune. Mm 